Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are talking about 10 EDC knives that are a great size. So great size EDC knives right around the three to three and a quarter inch blade length. Now this is not one of them. This is a larger size EDC knife. Um, so a lot of people tend to like full size large knives and some people really like that three and a quarter inch blade length, three to three and a quarter. So today all the knives on the list will be between that blade length. This is the Rake PD, or sorry, D191. The D191 by Rake. I'll try to link everything I can down in the description. I won't be able to link everything, but I will try to get as much as I can linked below. This is a great budget knife, around 25 bucks. G10, 8CR, steel frame lock, great size, nice and thin, great action, very slicey. And let's get to the first knife on the list because that was not one of them. So we have the Kaiser Dukes. Now this knife is a really good knife. It is super thin behind the edge. It is almost a full hollow grind. I know it has that swedge on top. That's the only thing stopping it from being a full hollow, nice and thin. And then another thing about this knife is this action, the deployment is insanely good. It is so good. Now, I know some people are looking at the flipper tab saying, well, yeah, look at the size of the flipper tab. I don't mind uh, big flipper tabs, you know, as long as they're not crazy obnoxious. I don't really carry much else in my pocket. Um, for my in my knife pocket but my knife so and if I do it's always something soft so it won't damage or scratch my knife the drop on this thing's not so good but not everybody needs that the deployment's amazing though it feels like it's assisted ergos I can get a full grip it is a thin small profile of some contoured multicolored g10 easy access to the liner lock non-deep carry clip does work very good and man, this deployment's amazing. And this thing cuts so good. Now, the one downfall some people might not like that it has a tiny recurve. I don't mind it, but some people might. Man, does it cut good. N690 steel. And yeah, there you guys go. Let's get to the next one. So the next one, the MIDI DX2. So this is the Alien Knives MIDI DX2. Now you can get these on pre-order right now. Now this is the MIDI version of the original DX2 and you can see quite a big difference in size. This one is all sold out. However, you might be able to get the custom version still if you talk to Alien Knives. Amazing, amazing knife. But this is the MIDI version that is on pre-order right now. And I'll I'll link Alien Knives down in the description if you do want to pre-order one of these. 14C 28M blade steel. G10 steel liners. Nice deep carry clip. Extremely smooth. The action is really, really good. It is a smaller knife, only a three inch blade. So a lot of people that thought this one was just way too big. Here you go. Now the one major difference is, is this one had a hollow grind. This one is a flat grind. So, but great steel, great action, great size. A little small for my hand, but you know, I know a lot of people don't like large knives. Next. Now, this one's kind of a given. I'll go quick. The Spyderco Delica. This one is the 20 CV in copper. Well, with aftermarket copper scales. I actually won this on Titty Patina's channel. So, shout out to them. Thank you very much. Uh, but, very, very awesome knife. I actually won it because EDC Journeys put me in there um he tagged me in their giveaway so thank you to him also awesome knife awesome size i get why people love these things so much the action's really good for a back lock it's a great size small blade but very very slicey and there are so many different options for this knife so many and the back lock is really easy to use because of the size and because of where the back lock is placed and it's got this little stopper right there that you can stop on your finger. Awesome, awesome knife. 
A lot of people do a lot of upgrades. There's lots of aftermarket parts for those. Next, the Kaiser Critical Mini. Now, there is a large titanium frame lock version of this knife. It is CK knife design. Now, this is in 3V steel. Micarta steel liners, deep carry steel pocket clip, but 3V, and you can get these for around 100 bucks. That's insane for 3V. And I will say, so far, so good. This 3V has been holding up so good. It's still super sticky. Um, no chips in my edge at all. I have been using it. I did put a mirror polished edge on there too. So, man, this thing's been holding up like a champ. Not a big knife, not a small knife, right in the happy medium um, size category. The access to the liner is really easy, or the access to the lock bar, I should say. Flipper tab, great deployment. Nice and smooth on the drop. Carries really good. Nice and comfortable in the hand. Just a great EDC knife, and it's got that real tough 3V steel. Next. Now, this next one. I'm actually going to pull up a few, but they're all the same knife, basically. What I mean is the same number on the list. We have the Benchmade Bugout. Now, the Benchmade Bugout's pretty iconic. A lot of people love it, but a lot of people say it is way overpriced. So, you can get the Asher Knives Nomad 2.0 for around 75 bucks, S35VN, Access lock. They also give you extra Omega springs, reversible deep carry pocket clip. Awesome action. This is on bearings. This one's on washers. Or you can even get their frame lock. The Nomad 2.0 frame lock. Awesome, awesome. Or the Spyro. Now this one's probably my favorite of the three. Super comfortable in the hand. Contour G10. Scales. Easy access to the liner. I really like the big thumb studs. I think they also, you can also get it in little thumb studs. I love these big thumb studs, man. And I just love the sound of this thing. Love it. Now, like I said, these are all the same, the same price basically. And they also have new versions available. I'm not sure if they're available right now. I know some of them are. Go on Asher Knives' website. You can get these, um, this one in the titanium frame lock. And then I believe there's a titanium version of this one coming too. I'm hoping to get my hands on them very soon. But go check out his website because they're, they're not much more money for the titanium version. So definitely check those out. Great size EDC knife and great materials for the money. Next, the Kaiser Dialorme. Now, this one's in 20 CV blade steel. There's a couple different versions of the handle material. Stupid smooth. It is a top flipper. As you can see, very easy to deploy. Access to the liner is really good. Just very fidgety. Very compact. Great size. Titanium milled clip. And for such a small knife, you can get a full grip on it. It does have a little sheep's foot blade for utility cutting. Man, this thing is so smooth. You can also use your thumb to top or to front flip it. But this thing feels like it's it runs on air. It's so, so smooth. But just a great little compact EDC knife and 20 CV also for a fantastic price. Next, Kubi Vagrant. Now, this one, great, great size, very comfortable in the hand. Mine, I don't think you can get this version anymore. However, you can still get the titanium frame lock version. It's just they come in S30V. Mine's an OS 10. Now, you can get the OS 10, but it's going to be a liner lock G10 version, which in some cases might even be better for you, especially if you're left-handed because you can't reverse flick this left-handed because you do lock yourself out. Right-handed, it works great though, but you are gonna pay a little bit more money for the, the titanium version now, just because it's S30V. But 
If you want the Aus 10, you can get it in a liner lock and G10 version. Amazing size, great blade shape. This one took a really, really sharp edge, but like I said, this one's the Aus 10. Amazing, amazing action. Titanium milled pocket clip. It also has milling on the inside. I probably can't show it to you, but it does. Lots of milling all through here, so very, very light. It looks good, great action, carries great, awesome size. Next. Now this one's kind of a given, of course. I'll get through it quick. We have the Civivi Elementum. Everybody loves the Civivi Elementum. It comes in so many different versions and styles. There's basically one out there for everybody. So the this one's the S35 VN version, the thinner blade. And this one has the JG10 scales, obviously. But they just recently came out with some titanium scales, or at least some aftermarket ones. The action's really good on these. It is on ceramic bearings, but just a great EDC size. Great package, great blade shape, great everything. Deep carry clip. It's just a great little user. And that's why I think it was so popular, because it's just such a perfect size for an EDC knife. And very, very useful, very slicey, nice deep hollow ground spear point blade, nice and thin behind the edge. There's also the D2 version for like 50 bucks. And then this one's the S35 VN version. Next. Now these last two, I can't link, but we have the Tuya NV2. This knife is so amazing. I can't recommend this knife enough. It is a little bit expensive, around 220, 220 bucks. M390 dual ground, uh, they call it a drop point. I call it a straight back, but hollow right here, nice and thin, and then it's a little bit more robust up in the tip area. Titanium frame lock with insane action. The flipping action is amazing. It really, I know it's an expensive knife, but it feels so much more high end. Super comfortable in the hand. The clip works very well. Beautiful milling. And there's a couple different options. There's actually even uh, the DW3. So the Tuya um, DW3 is a, a cross cut carbon fiber liner lock. This is the titanium frame lock version, the DW2. Because the, I'm sorry, I should have said it, the Tuya Envy DW2 or the Tuya Envy DW3. Amazing, amazing knife though, man. I, like I said, I can't recommend this one enough. And then last but not least, the American Blade Works Model 1 version 6. Now, I did have a couple issues from the start. However, they're all worked out. This thing's amazing. I'm loving this knife. Great size. Very comfortable in the hand. Man, this thing is just... It's so good in the hand. Beautiful micarta liner lock. This one's an S35VM, but there are so many options. This is USA made, and there are a ton of options for these. There is multiple different versions. Like I said, this one's the Model 6. But there's different, like I said, there's there's so many different options. You just got to go on American Blade Works website and look at all the different options. I'm really liking it. Um, like I said, yeah, I did have some issues from the start, but I've worked them all out. I did have to do a little bit of work, but very, very nice. Great flipping action. Um, it was a little rough before on the drop, but now mine's very smooth. It's not false shut, but it is pretty drop shutty. And yeah, great, great knife. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.